Nothing can be more frustrating than being on a dive and not being able to communicate with your buddy. Not only is it frustrating, but it's potentially dangerous. In this video, we're gonna go over a series of hand signals that every single diver needs to know to communicate well and stay safe. There's a series of hand signals that every single diver needs to know. That being said, it's important for us as divers to understand that hand signals change depending on several factors. For example, the instructor who taught you, the region where you learn how to dive, and even the agency where you got certified through will change some of the hand signals that you were taught. Let's begin with the essential hand signals. The first hand signal that every diver needs to know is the okay signal. This signal is to communicate that you're okay and that everything is going fine. When your buddy gives you this signal, it's important for you as a diver to give it back to them so that you acknowledge that you saw that they gave you the okay signal and that you are okay. Next, we're gonna go over the descend signal, and that's the thumb down signal. And that's essentially you telling your buddy that you're gonna go down into the water column and descend further. This signal means to ascend or to end the dive, and how it's interpreted depends on the context. If your buddy gives you the thumbs up signal at the beginning of the dive or during the dive, it could mean that they just want you to ascend a little bit. However, if you're reaching the end of your dive time and your buddy gives you a thumbs up signal, it could mean that they want you to ascend because your dive has ended. The thumbs up signal also means that we want you to like the video, we want you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So please go down and like the video now, subscribe and hit that icon for us so we can bring you more content. This means that you want your buddy to come towards you. And you can do it with two hands or you can do it with one hand. If you point to your eyes and you point in a direction, you want your buddy to look in the direction that you're pointing. If you put your hand up like this, you're telling your buddy to stop. If you wanna know where the boat is, you go like this to your buddy and you bring your hands together. Where's the boat? If your buddy asks you this question and you wanna to point to a direction, you leave your palm open and you point to the direction where you think the boat is. If you and your buddy get slightly separated and you want to buddy up, you go like this. This means buddy up. If you want two other people in a group to buddy up, you point to the two people and you tell them to buddy up. If you want your buddy to follow you, you point at yourself, I lead, then you point at your buddy, you follow. So it's I lead, you follow. If you want your buddy to hold a certain depth, you take your hand and you go like this. This means to hold at a certain depth. If you want to communicate a safety stop, you put your palm flat, three minute safety stop. You could also point at your watch and say three minute stop. If you want to communicate with your buddy that you're cold, you put your hands in front of your chest and you go like this. If you have a question, you can look at your buddy and put your finger in this position. This means that you have a question. If you see bubbles coming from your buddy's rig, you go like this. This means bubbles. If your buddy gives you a hand signal that you don't understand, or if you don't know how to communicate something underwater and you have a slate, you can look at your buddy and you can say, write it down. This allows you to go ahead and write down your question to your buddy so they know what you're saying. If your buddy asks you how much gas you have in your tank, you need to communicate to them using numbers. We like to teach the one hand method for numbers because it allows you to flash a light to your hand if you're diving at night. And this is how it works. This means one, this means two, this means three, this means four, this is five. Then if you wanna communicate six or above, use the back of your hand. This is six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, if you're communicating hundreds, you can say one hundred or two hundred. If you're communicating thousands, you can say one thousand or two thousand. This signal means thousand. If you do this signal, it means that there's something wrong. Usually when we give that signal to our buddy, we also point to a part of our body to kind of let them know what's going on. So let's say that there's something wrong and you're having equalization problems. You'll go like this and you'll point to your ear. If you're having stomach problems, you do this and then you point to your stomach. If you're feeling narcosis, you do this and you tell them you're crazy. No, okay, you're not crazy, but you're feeling a little narked. If you're diving underwater with a group of divers and you've lost track of your buddy, you would say, where's my buddy? Now we know this should never happen, but if it does, 
This is how you would communicate that to the group. Where is my buddy? If you're on the surface and you want to communicate to the boat or to another diver that you're okay, you can put both your hands over your head like this to let them know you're okay, or you can put your fist on top of your head like this, and this means you're okay. If you want them to come pick you up, you just put one hand over your head like this, and this lets the boat know that you need them to come pick you up. The next thing we're gonna go over are emergency hand signals on the surface. The first one is the lost buddy signal. You're gonna to come to the surface and give the okay signal, letting the boat know that you're okay, but you don't know where your buddy is. So it's, I'm okay, but I don't know where my buddy is. The next signal is the emergency signal. If you wave both your hands over your head like this, or a single hand over your head like this, the boat is gonna think that there's an emergency and they're gonna drop everything to come pick you up. So it's important for you to know, this does not mean hello, this means I'm in danger, I, there is an emergency, and you need to come get me immediately. Next, we're gonna go over some common marine animals that you can communicate to your buddy. The first one is the shark. If you put your hand over your head like this, it means you see a shark. If you see a turtle, you put one hand on top of the other and you go like this, and this means turtle. If you see a grouper in the area, you put both your hands in front of your face and you go like this and this means group. If you see an octopus, you make a fist and you put your, your hand below it and you go like this. This means octopus. If you see a jellyfish, you go like this, and this means jellyfish. Now, when you do marine signals, you wanna to point to the direction that you see the animal so that your buddy could also see it. We just went over 36 different hand signals that you can use as a diver. Did we miss any? Is there any that you use? Please go down into the comments and let us know if there's any hand signals we miss or hand signals that you commonly use when you go diving with your buddy. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the link and download our guide, The Four Keys to Mastering Your Diving. In it, we go over four essentials that you need to learn so that you can go down underwater and enjoy yourself even more. Finally, in this video, we covered 36 different hand signals that you can use to communicate to your buddy. However, on our website, we have many, many more. There's a link in the description for you to click on so that you can go and check them out.